What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the One Piece Film Stampede website. Now, I did make a video about this when this website did go live and it did give us a little bit of information relating to some upcoming characters that were coming out relating to the Stampede Raid boss, which had a whole bunch of, you know, like Kid and Killer, uh, Apu and Capone, Hawkins and Bonnie, etc. Just a whole bunch of those really cool characters relating to Film Stampede. Now, today, there was an update on this website that brought along a whole bunch of different artworks that we can go ahead and talk about today. Namely, a brand new Sugo Fest exclusive character. So let's go ahead and scroll down and have a look. So previously, previously, a bunch of these tabs were locked out. Now there's only one tab not locked out anymore, which is going to be the Revolutionary Army tab, which is obviously going to have a brand new Sabo character. We'll have to wait and see and, until see, you know, when that's going to be revealed. But we can see there is a brand new Smoker character. Now, for those of you who don't know, it is going to be the Treasure Map character, which I did call, and I'm really happy I was able to get that one correct. So this is the brand new Treasure Map arriving on One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan, Treasure Map Smoker. Now, along with this, the, obviously the artwork looks great, there's a brand new Fuji Tora here. Now, as of right now, we don't know where you get this Fuji Tora from, but I've got to say, this artwork looks so, so good. The shading looks so good here. I like the, the purple glow around him as well. Just, I think this artwork is one of the best looking Fuji Tora artworks in the entire game. It looks so goddamn good. But yeah, as I said, we don't know what this Fuji Tora is going to be for. Maybe he's a reward character. Maybe he is a character that you farm for whilst farming the new Navy event because there was a leak that went out relating to a brand new event that was going to come out, which was a new Navy fight event. So that's what this could be relating to. But yeah, as I said, we'll have to wait and see um, for what this Fuji Tora is going to be for. Now, CP0 is unlocked. Unfortunately, there's only one new character here, but it's my boy, Rob Lucci. Now, this brand new Lucci character, apparently is a raid boss now i don't know if there is full confirmation on that but we can see here that his artwork looks so good this looks so much better than the treasure map cp0 luchi that came out when was it it was uh around may june ish uh this looks way better than the treasure map Rob Lucci. I mean, everything about it looks so much better. He looks so good, and I really can't wait to see what he's going to do. But yeah, you guys know if you guys have stuck around the channel for a while, uh, Rob Lucci is one of my favorite characters in Treasure, uh, in just in not in just Treasure Cruise, but in, in One Piece in general. And I really would love to see a legend version of CP0 Lucci, but we'll have to wait and see about that. But I've got to say, this artwork looks fantastic. As I said, I think it's a raid boss. I don't know if there is full confirmation on that, but yeah, he's going to be a brand new Clash. Now, what should we talk about next? I guess this is the next tab we're going to go ahead and have a look at. So this is Straw Hat characters from Film Stampede. So we can see here we have a Sanji here first, and his artwork looks pretty cool. And I believe all of these Straw Hats are going to be rare recruit characters. So we have a brand new Sanji, looks clean. We have a new Robin character, as I said, is uh, also going to be a rare recruit character. And then boom, there she is there with her fully evolved artwork. You can see the submarine ship in the background, so obviously that gets used in the film somewhere. Next, we have a brand new Brook character. Now, I don't know who did these artworks, but this looks so good. I love the lighting in the background, just the shading of everything looks so good. And then you got Brook with his Soul King powers activated. You see the, the ice everywhere, the sparks. Dude, this artwork, looks, this artwork looks so good. I'm a really big fan of this one. And then we have a brand new Tony Tony Chopper. Uh, and his artwork is, uh, you know, it feels bad, man. You've got Usopp on the ground. I believe in the trailer for Film Stampede, it showed Usopp getting like the... He got beat up really, really bad. I don't know if it was from, from Douglas Bullet or if it, if it was from someone else. But Usopp seems to get injured in the film. And we can see uh, the artwork looks so good. Uh, as I said, the, the shading looks really good here. Just everything about it looks so good. So those are the brand new Straw Hat characters that are going to be coming soon. And I believe they are all rare recruit characters coming in the latest Sugo Fest, which we will also talk about in this video. So this is the, art the artworks that we had previously, which is for the Login, Luffy, and then the Fortnite uh, Straw Hat characters. But then this one is here, which is the original film characters. So when we go boom, we have our first character here. I don't actually remember her name, but I believe that... She, as well as this guy right here, are going to be Fortnite characters. So they're just free-to-play characters that everyone will have access to, which is good to see. But then, the main event of this whole celebration is here. 
Douglas Bullet. Man. Okay, so this is the artwork that they showed in the V-Jump um, last month or so. Uh, so we all thought that was going to be a raid boss because there was no way that artwork looked, le looked legend worthy. But we actually now know that yes, this is going to be definitely the legend character. But this is only his unevolved artwork. And here is his evolved artwork. He just goes into a full-on Mechazord sort of thing. I don't even know how to describe it, dude. He turned into a Mecha, which is crazy. So obviously that has something to do with his Devil Fruit. You know, from the trailers, we can see that he does use this power. We don't have really much information about it other than the fact that he turns into a huge robot. So hopefully we get more information on that soon. Maybe if we read this, uh, this story information here, it'll give us a little bit more details. But yes, this is his evolved artwork, which is very interesting, right? Because when we see characters that have that type of ability where they turn into a big you know, huge beast, whether it be like Capone, where he goes into Big Father, or like Frankie, where he turns into General Frankie, the artwork of the legend itself doesn't have that form in the artwork. This guy does. So perhaps when you actually like load into a dungeon with this guy on your team, he actually is in his robot form. And we'll have to wait and see. We don't really know too much about him right now. We don't even know what his classes or his typing is. We don't know what his abilities are yet. We just have confirmation that he is going to be a Sugo Fest exclusive character. Though I do really, really hope that this guy is a quick character. Now, the reason for that is, is because all of the movie legends so far, Tesoro, Shiki, and Zephyr, all of them have been quick characters. I would be slightly upset if he's not a quick character, but it's not the end of the world. Really good to see that he is going to be a Sugo Fest exclusive character. Now on this website, it has a whole bunch of different events as well. And you can see that number three here, it is uh, just stating that there you, go, you actually get a free multi every single day on the movie Sugo Fest. So right now, I don't know if it's right now, I don't know when it starts, maybe it starts tomorrow, but there is uh, three days of this Sugo Fest. Day one is relating to Zephyr, then day two is Shiki, and then day three is to Zora. It could be in a different order. I don't remember the order of the characters and what, which ones are rate boosted, but basically each day you have a movie legend and their batch are rate boosted, and every single day you get one free multi. And then I also believe the day after this Sugo Fest ends is when the Douglas Bullet Legend Legend and his Sugo Fest comes out and you also get a free multi on that one as well to my knowledge I will have to double check that but we can see here when we scroll down one piece stampede I believe this means like a free multi and we can see here his unevolved artwork we've also got Luffy and law here as well Dex Sabo V2 Luchi don't know why he's here but the Japanese version of the game actually does not have V2 Luchi Super Evolution yet, so maybe within this celebration, they'll probably get that, hopefully, for their sake. And then you've also got just randomly the dual unit for Smoker and Tashigi as well. Weirdly enough, we don't actually have a Tashigi Stampede character yet. Interesting. Either way, when we scroll down here, we get the actual banner, the official announcement of the Douglas Bullet Sugo Fest, obviously Stampede Sugo Fest. And you can see here, it is the Treasure Map Sugo Fest because of the, the little icon here. So this is confirmed to be the Treasure Map Sugo. Very, very interesting. Okay. Uh, but let's go ahead and switch over to the Discord now to get a little bit more information. Okay, so once again, huge shout out to the One Piece Treasure Cruise subreddit Discord for providing the translations here. Uh, we've got here the Treasure Map Sugo, which is the Douglas Bullet Sugo Fest, running from August 9th until the 18th of August, and the Treasure Map itself is going to be from the 14th until the 18th, okay? Uh, Escape from the Marines event. So this is what I was talking about before, where there was some event relating to Fujitora and the Marines, and we can see here August 19th to the 30th. So this is a very very, very long event for Fujitora. And then we can see versus Luchi, which we think it's going to be a raid boss, is August 24th until the 30th of August. And then obviously the Fortnite and Anne is her name and Donald Moderate uh, from August 9th until September 9th. So you've got a whole month to farm those characters up. Now about the Sugo Fest itself, it is a treasure map Sugo Fest with double legend rate. I don't know if that has ever happened in the past, this might be the first double legend rate treasure map Sugo, which is kind of crazy. You get one free multi, as I said. The first multi is 30 rainbow gems. The free multi counts as step zero before the first step. Okay, so the free multi doesn't give you, obviously, you know, the step towards, you know, if you do three uh, multis, you get a, uh, you know, you get a guaranteed legend after the third multi. The free multi does not count towards that, so that's good to know. So as I said, 30 gems for the first multi. Second multi, you get the chopper guaranteed. And then we have the brook and the robin are also treasure map point boosters. And it does say that 
that Sanji is actually receivable from completing the treasure map. This is a common thing that's been happening recently with treasure maps, where you have obviously the treasure map character, which in this case, it's going to be Smoker. But then after a certain amount of points, you actually get given a character for free. So in this case, we're going to be getting the Sanji character in the treasure map itself. Either way, bro, this is a crazy celebration. I'm really looking forward to it. And once we get the full information relating to Douglas Blur, and I'm sure, I am sure it is not going to be long before we get the data download for uh douglas bullet so i'm really looking forward to it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this breakdown of the news uh, and about douglas bullet finally being announced as a sugar fest exclusive character if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i'll see you guys within the next video